experiment with, experiment with your breath for a bit to see what kind of breathing feels good. And learn how to appreciate the sense of well-being that comes from the breath. All too often the mind has a tendency to focus on the negative. When it's too cold, when it's too hot, this isn't the way you want it, that isn't the way you want it, there's a pain here, there's a pain there. Neglecting to notice that there are actually a lot of good things going on right now. In your body, not everything is in pain. If you were entirely in pain, you wouldn't be able to live. So I thought something good is there. So focus on that and appreciate it. It's these meek, non-showy pleasures that we have to learn how to take advantage of. Everyone goes for the flashy things, the things that pull their attention. And there's a lot that gets left in the background that could actually be very helpful. So try to have a sense of where in the body there's a sense of well-being. And learn how to stay there and not get pulled in by the, the bright lights on the one side or the really dark things on the other. Because you can't make your home either in the bright lights or in the dark areas. You have to make your home in the areas where things are relatively stable. Because you want to be able to observe yourself as the mind goes up and down, but, but without going up and down, along with your moods. You want to have a place where you can just watch things with a sense of well-being. It's not that you're asked to have a, you know, eat oatmeal all the time without any flavor. But there is a sense of well-being that's just not appreciated. It's all around. And you want to learn how to take advantage of that. Because we have to put up with a lot of difficulties in the world. And one of the best ways of learning how to put up with difficulties is finding the areas that are not difficult. The areas where you can have a sense of nourishment, a sense of well-being. That way the difficulties seem a lot smaller and a lot more manageable. So try to develop this sense of well-being inside. Let that be the larger context and let the complaints about being too cold outside, too hot outside, whatever, or this person being that way, that person being this way, they're pretty small when you put them in the right context. Don't let your human life get wasted by focusing just on the negative. Focus on the positive, the things that you can do, the areas where you have strength, the areas where you have a sense of well-being, on which you can build. Because we are building our lives here as human beings. We don't, as someone said, we don't possess our lives, but we can build something good out of them. Our lives are constantly fleeting, fleeting, fleeting away. But the goodness we can build, that's something that doesn't go away so quickly. So focus on the parts of the present moment that enable, enable you to build something good out of your life, get something good out of your life. Don't let them go to waste.